Hi everyone, Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS. Today I'm showing you 12 iPhone settings you'll want to change if you've updated to iOS 18. These tips will help you save battery life, stay safer, protect your privacy, and make your phone easier to use. Let's walk through them together one step at a time. Let's get started. Tip number one, turn off personalized ads. Why? This setting stops your iPhone from tracking your activity to customize ads. To do this, we're going to want to open up the settings app. So let's locate that. Open your settings app. Make sure that you're on the main settings page. Once you locate that, find privacy and security. Scroll down until you see Apple Advertising. Tap on that and then make sure that you toggle off the switch that says turn off personalized ads. You'll still see ads, but they won't be based on your personal habits. Tip number two, turn on optimized battery charging. This feature slows down charging past 80% to preserve your battery health. So again, we're going to open up the settings app. We're going to locate and tap on battery. Now we're going to tap on charging. And now we're going to toggle on the switch that says turn on optimized battery charging. This helps extend the lifespan of your iPhone's battery. It's especially helpful for older phones. You'll also see above uh, that option is a charge limit. And my iPhone is telling me that I should toggle this switch down to 95%, which I will and that should help me save battery life. Tip number three, disable in-app ratings and reviews. Those pop-ups asking for app reviews, you can turn them off. To do this, I haven't left the settings app because a lot of what we're doing today is inside the settings app. I'm on the main settings screen. Scroll to the bottom, tap on apps, and then locate app store. Tap on the App Store, scroll down until you see In-App Ratings and Reviews, and toggle that switch off. You'll enjoy fewer interruptions when using your favorite apps. Tip number four, limit microphone and camera access. Some apps might access your mic or camera even when you're not using them. So again, we're inside the settings app on the main settings screen. We're going to locate privacy and security. And now we're going to scroll down until we see microphone. Tap on microphone and you can toggle off access for any of the apps you don't trust. Then tap on back. Let's locate the camera and toggle off any of these apps that you don't want accessing your camera. This keeps your private moments more secure. Tip number five, turn on Find My iPhone. If your iPhone gets lost or stolen, this setting helps you track it. So again, main settings screen, open the settings app, tap on your name at the top, Tap on Find Mine and make sure this toggle switch is turned on. Also check to make sure Find My Network is turned on and send last location. You'll thank yourself if your iPhone ever goes missing. Tip number six, optimize storage with high efficiency format. Photos and videos take up a lot of space. This setting saves room without sacrificing much quality. Again, we're inside of the settings app. We're going to locate camera, tap on camera. Then we're going to locate formats. And once we locate formats, select high efficiency. 
This is a great way to free up storage without deleting memories. Tip number seven, set up emergency SOS. In an emergency, this lets you contact help quickly, even if your phone is locked. So again, inside the settings app, locate emergency SOS, tap on it, make sure call, withhold, and release is turned on. You could also do it call with uh, five button presses. You could toggle that switch on. It may also say call with three button presses. Once you have that set up, scroll down and you're going to see emergency contacts. You can add and edit your emergency contacts inside the help app. All you have to do is tap on this. It will take you there and you can go ahead and set up an emergency contact. A quick and powerful safety tool everyone should have set up. Tip number eight, turn on stolen device protection. This adds extra security if your phone is stolen, even if someone knows your passcode. To do this, we're inside the settings app. Go to privacy and security. Locate stolen device protection. Tap on that and then make sure that that toggle switch is turned on. It prevents thieves from changing key settings or your Apple ID unless Face ID is used and only from trusted locations. Tip number nine, set up live voicemail. See what a caller is saying in real time before deciding to answer. We'll open the settings app again. This time we're going to scroll to the bottom. We're going to tap on apps. I'm going to tap on P on the right hand side to get to the P apps quickly. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tap on phone. And then I'm going to locate live voicemail. And just make sure that that toggle is turned on. This is great for screening calls and avoiding spam. Some iPhones may not support this option, but at least run through the settings to see if yours does. Tip number 10, turn on vehicle motion cues. If you get car sick while using your phone, this new setting helps prevent this. So again, inside the settings app, this time we're going to tap on accessibility. We're going to locate and tap on motion. And then we're going to tap on show vehicle motion cues. If I uh, tap on on, you'll see that it adds subtle dots around the screen that move with your car, helping your eyes and balance stay in sync. You could also tap on automatic and it'll recognize when your car is moving and you'll begin to see those dots. Tip number 11, turn off app tracking. Some apps track your activity across other apps and websites. So to do this again, inside the settings app, main settings screen, locate privacy and security, tap on that. And then you're going to want to scroll until you see tracking, go ahead and tap on that. And then you can toggle this switch off and then no apps will be able to track you. You can also do it individually by app. So as you can see, that's what I've done. I've just gone through and when an app tells me it wants to track me, I automatically uh, turn it off. So this helps protect your privacy and limit targeted ads. So the option is turn it off the whole way by just toggling off the switch at the top or go through and toggle it off app by app. Here's the last tip, tip number 12. Turn off background app refresh. Some apps keep updating themselves in the background, draining your battery. So again, inside the settings app, all of these tips are inside the settings app. We're going to go ahead and this time we're going to tap on general 
and then we're going to locate background app refresh. Tap on that. You can choose to toggle off all of it or a good option is do Wi-Fi only so that it's not refreshing while you're on cellular data or you can turn it off all the way or you can go through app by app and toggle off the apps that you don't believe need to be refreshing in the background. So I could toggle off uh, maybe the App Store, Audible. There's a ton and I just have to take my time, go through my apps, and this one change can make your battery last noticeably longer. That's it, 12 easy iPhone settings you can change today, all designed to make your phone safer, faster, and more enjoyable to use. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.